and uh, each class is divided uh, into two sections, one and two. So basically, I'm planning to cover like a uh, first uh, half in 15 minutes and take a break, and next uh, half in another 15 minutes. So this is going to be like a two-hour class, but actually 100 minutes altogether. So you can take a break in between uh, after 15 minutes. Okay. So this is going to be. <laughs> okay, while we are waiting, uh, can I ask you guys a personal question? Uh, I'd like to know how many of you consider yourself as a Christian? Christian? Christian. Believer. Go to church. Yes, I am. Yes. And let's begin with a personal exercise. This is one percent. Be great. And uh, uh, think about this question. My name is, so I get to know you guys. And then you're gonna say, I am a leader because. Fifteen steps. Don't make it too long. I just uh, make it brief. And uh, I'll give you one minute to think about the second question. I mean, first question, if that's easy, right? I'm a leader because... Why don't we start from way back there? Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Translate for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can tell me your name, though. Yeah. Uh, my name is Hoshu. 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 Yeah, Chinese name. Mm. Hoshu. Hoshu. Okay. Okay. Hoshu. Uh, please uh, write me your Chinese name in Chinese characters, because I understand some Chinese characters and the meanings. Okay. You can understand Chinese. No, the, the letters. Ah, letters. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I, I mean, in Korea, yeah. uh, we used to learn like uh, three thousand characters okay. until you are uh, graduating from the elementary school. So okay. I know those those three characters and understand them. But, okay. No. So you think you are a leader, leader because. Okay, 
Okay. Can you tell me your name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Bi Hua Chen. Yeah. Bi Hua Chen. Yes. But, but I... English name? I got, I, no. I am not <laughs> Asian name. Uh -huh. So my English is not good. So uh -huh. just added to. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I think I'm a reader because... Um, actually, I, I don't want to read. <laughs> I just... Maybe I am a reader in my family. Good. <laughs> just, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Leader in your family. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, my name is Joseph. Joseph? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I am a leader because so I want to think about that question. Oh, you haven't? Yeah. Okay. I mean, why be a leader or something? Is, uh -huh. I have no idea about that. Uh -huh. So have have you ever played played with the other kids when you're little? I mean even today yeah, playing like a basketball, base baseball? No, I'm not. No, you're not, you're not <laughs> into the sports. Okay, if you play with others, I mean you you probably act as a leader, even though you do not think it as a leader, right? Yeah, never think about a leader. Mm -hmm. Or like do the diving or something. Uh -huh. It's kind of partnership. It's, uh -huh. it's not a leader. Uh -huh. So I mean, okay, <laughs> okay, good. Your name? <laughs> My name is Cici. Cici. Yeah. Okay. leader in the family in some way, right? Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Okay, go ahead. Hi, my name is Nazmiya. We can say Naz. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm a leader because I love everything. <laughs> <laughs> love everything. <laughs> okay. Great. All right. So, <laughs> so we kind of, I mean, we don't think Yes, usually we don't think ourselves as a leader unless you have given a position, right? So, let's see. Think of this. You lead yourself. Yes. It's true, right? Mm -hmm. There's a not so good self. I, I wouldn't say bad, but not so good self. And there is better self. So these two, two selves fight each other. They say, this person in you say, do good. And this person in you say, it's okay to be lazy. And this says, no, you are not to be lazy. You come to school at 10 uh, today and do attend the school and learn. So that's a better help of you. And say, you gotta go to school and study to be a better person. And otherwise, there's another uh, self, you, you saying, no, just be lazy, enjoy, and marry, and these things. So, in yourself, you are leading. If your better self, better self wins, and you grow and mature, you become a better person. That leader loses, and then you lose. So this is a kind of leadership inside you. That means everyone, every person with the thought and the values, they lead oneself. So you are leading yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, core, core concepts, the main concepts, the important concepts. So when you are learning something, there are like a concept, a definitions. So you have to learn the meaning of the word to actually understand whole series of sentence. So if you are to understand a sentence, you learn about the word. The basic thing to learn about the word is to understand the meaning. So there are some leadership terms, core 
main leadership terms that we are going to go over. Okay, uh, ethos. Uh, this ethos is something. Okay, that's a, that's a dictionary definition of ethos. It says the characteristic spirit of a culture, era, or community as manifested in its beliefs and aspiration. In simple words, ethos is the spirit, the main thing. And it also says a spirit, character, atmosphere, climate, prevailing tendency, and mood, feeling, temper, tenor, flavor, essence, and uh, etc. So, okay, say the ethos of a watermelon is not the green part, but it's that radish. Uh, pink part that we eat. That's ethos. That's essence. The ethos and essence, the main spirit, the idea, that's called ethos. Okay, so we want leader. Okay, this is the main thing, leader. Uh, we just uh, thought and talked about uh, being a leader. And the dictionary says, it's the person who leads or commands a group, organization, or country even. So President Trump, uh, whether you like him or not, is a leader of this country. And uh, President Xi, uh, he is also a leader of China, the country and leader. And in the classroom, maybe the professor, the teacher is a leader. And in a church, there's a pastor. So a leader is the one who leads. So to understand the leader, uh, you have to understand the word leads, L-E-A-D, lead. Mm -hmm. And two, so question, what is leading? and the leadership. Many of us do not like to lead. But some of us really love to lead. So there's a difference. Each person are different. Some likes to lead, some do not like to lead. But leading it is has to do with the people. So you lead People. You do not need a chair or you cannot need flowers or trees. It doesn't happen. But you lead people. So it basically has to do with the people and you lead people to accomplish something, to finish, to, to, to make things happen. So that's what the leaders do. So if you are accomplishing something, if you are finishing something with other people, say you play basketball and in a team and you play defense and you are still leading your defense. So it has to do with a particular role and the responsibility. So I think I mean everyone who are here are being responsible to yourself and you're doing this probably for your family whether it's your uh, mom and dad or your children or your, your, your siblings, brother and sister you're doing it for someone <coughs> and even yourself so you are leading in that sense and this is a big word that we are going to think about stewardship so stewardship and the dictionary definition. This is what the dictionary says. A person responsible for supplies of food to a college, club, or other institutions. That's a steward and dictionary. 
Again, a person who is delegated to care for the needs of a household under the authority of the master. That's a biblical definition of a steward. So in the Bible, there are some stories about steward, and steward is someone who is responsible to take care of all household. And he or she, usually it's he in the Old Testament, but he or she uh, are under someone's authority. And uh, that authority is God, actually, in the Bible. Anyway, a steward is someone who is delegate with a responsibility. So you <coughs> need to, to take care of orders and uh, uh, the, the, the command from someone and to serve others. That's a steward. So I'll, I'll go and explain more about this relationship later on. So this, this is going to be a big thing in, in this uh, lesson on biblical leadership. Oh. Okay. And maturity. This is, again, is a big concept, ethos, in uh, and, and, uh, biblical leadership. So if you want to be a leader, whether you're, you're a Christian or not, it doesn't matter. Everyone who claims to be a leader has to have this maturity. See, I ask the questions there. Uh, okay, maturity is defined as the state, fact, or period of being mature. Uh -huh. So, to mature, it takes a lot of effort. But think of this question. Respect is the heart of the leadership. So think of a leader that you know. And there's one thing common to a leader that you know. And that, that leader is leader because you respect that person. Whether it's a he or she. Whether it's a pastor or teacher. Or even your parents. Some, some, some children do not respect their parents, but, you know, I, I have some most, you know, good kids. Uh, they respect the uh, father and mother. And that respect is a core of leadership. And uh, <coughs> would you respect, uh, why? Why would you respect someone? You respect someone because he or she is a good person. A good person means a mature person who who is better than you in a lot of aspects. So this is the core of leadership and especially in Christian biblical leadership the maturity is the first thing. One of the uh, most important things. So I want you guys to mature after this class. And every class, I want it to be a maturing experience. Not just the learning, the knowledge, but I want you to be, to grow and mature as a person. And uh, that's why we are born and why we study. Uh, I know uh, some of us has to come to class uh, because of certain reasons. But, see, why, why do you come to the United States? And, you know, the, the, the reason is you, to, you want to be, become a better person, a better life. So if that's the reason, you have to learn about the leadership and you have to grow and mature. Without maturity, you're not going to be a better person. You might be a richer person uh, living in a bigger house and uh, driving a better car. But that does not mean that you are mature. So to be a good person, respectable and respected by others, you have to have this maturity as a person. And initiative. This initiative, you, this is not a, a everyday vocabulary. Probably, and you never heard of this word. 
initiative is a taking uh, leadership. And let me explain. So, the ability to assess and initiate things independently. So you have to initiate. To be a leader, you have to initiate. Initiate means the power or opportunity to act or take charge before others do. See, always there is someone who kind of go first yeah, and uh, take a risk. See, it, 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 it probably is a born with, you are born with, but there are always that person who does something first, uh, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. And then uh, it, that, uh, that person literally taking a chance and risk. Because every new thing, there's a danger. And uh, people don't like to do the new things, many, many people. But there are some people who love to try new things. And uh, they are the one who lead others. See, when you try to begin things and do the first and take a risk and you become a leader, whether you like it or not. Okay, this is a, a little, maybe difficult uh, concept, but the context, this is, uh, if you see the picture here, uh, the diagram, that, that our thing is called context, and then there is a leader and a leadership. See, this means that you are surrounded by many conditions and the things and that influences you. So the context influences you, and you influence context. So it's mutual, go together. And those who are always influenced by context only and never change, try to change the context, he or she cannot become a leader. So we are the ones who are trying to interact with the context but trying to change your context. Now someone uh, today said that I'm a leader of my family. Okay, there's some, some uh, family members who always depend on mother, father, or some other people. There are family members who take the charge and try to help out the family. See, that case, family becomes your context. And you are the leader if you change and try to make uh, your family better, right? So that's the uh, leadership context. So you are not alone by yourself when you are a leader. There are many conditions and the things that surround you. Okay, this is a difficult part, but just uh, you know, bear with me because uh, I've done some leadership studies and uh, they teach me these things, and uh, it's kind of complex. But I'll, I'll let you try to make it simple as possible. There, there are some leadership theories. Uh, this has developed, uh, the, the leadership uh, studies and leadership theories has developed because of a business. When you want to do the business, there's a what, call, what we call a, a company. It's a group of people. And as they do the business, they face the, the problems and issues and difficulties with the people. See, if you're a CEO of a company, you have to learn about the leadership because you want to lead that company to be a better one. And then, then uh, uh, the, the university and the research institutions kind of, they gave attention to this and they developed leadership theories. So it's an academic approach to the issue of leadership. And let me just uh, uh, introduce uh, just a couple uh, well-known, famous uh, studies. One is Ohio study, or uh, done by Ohio University. 
And it started in the uh, early 1940s. So this is like uh, how many years? 70? Mm -hmm. uh, many years ago. And as it's done by Ralph M. Stolfield uh, later on in 1974. Uh, this is much later. Once the study is done, he kind of summarized it and written a book on it. But the main thing is this. They found out there are two main functions or the, the, the uh, things that has to do with the leadership. And one is initiating structured behavior. And it says uh, just a kind of term for, you know, if you try to uh, run a organization. There are things that has to do with the running organization. And then consideration behavior is something that has to do with the people. So that's people versus the work or task. So first thing, there is a task and there is a people thing. You gotta achieve and accomplish certain tasks while you're dealing with the people. So these are two basic dimensions of uh, leadership they have found. They have found in Ohio study. And there's another famous uh, leadership study, which is Michigan University one. So Michigan and Ohio are not that far. And while they are doing Ohio uh, uh, leadership study, Michigan kind of looked at it and we got to do our own study. And so they did, and they found out there are two behavior. So this is a, what we call behavioral science, a study of human behavior. And from that aspect, they found out there's a task-oriented behavior, and there's a relationship-oriented behavior. These are two major functions of leadership. So when we think about leadership, now there are two things that we need to mind and think. So accomplishing a task and then dealing with the people in relationship. So leadership, if you are a leader, you have to be good with the relationship and you have to be good with the accomplishing the task. So same thing with uh, your study. So if you want a uh, leader in your study, you have to be working with other students, and then also you have to get certain grade. See? So these are the main things in the leadership. Now, uh, that's a, there's a something called the situational leadership, and the, this, the main thing is they found out there are different situations, each requiring a different leadership. So, I mean, it's a common sense, but they studied on it and uh, written many books on these. So each leader might be a directing or coaching or supporting or delegating, depend on the situation of the group. So there are times that you need to delegate your work to others, and there are times that you have to direct and tell, do this and do that. And then there's the times that you kind of walk along and help this guy. And that's uh, another kind of leadership. And then supporting, you sit uh, back and uh, fold your arms like this and kind of give uh, support and say, So they are, these are four different uh, kind of situations they found out. So they've written many books on it, and this is contemporary, uh, very recent uh, study. And then they came up with this diagram. Uh, if you Google uh, situational leadership, there are many of these diagrams. So you don't need to make a copy of it. You can find it. I mean, it's in your smartphone. I'm just giving an example. Okay, next. Another theory, uh, 
leadership theory is a leadership development theory which looks at how leaders develop from young leader to a mature leader. And uh, it's a, I mean, leadership is a growing experience. It's a process. It takes time. So it, it's not like this. Uh, in, in a Superman movie, uh, this is a, I mean, he was a regular guy, and one day that he finds out that he is a strong, uh, mighty guy. Uh, overnight. The same thing with a Spider-Man, right? Uh, in in a Hollywood, Hollywood movie, it happens overnight. But in actual life, leadership grows. Just like a plant grows from seed and bear fruit. It takes a time, seasons. For, for apple to actually have a fruit, it takes five to six years at least. Same thing with the leadership. It takes time. A lot of time and effort. So people looked at how leaders develop and grow. And uh, the Robert uh, Clinton is a, uh, my professor, my mentor, and I learned from him. And he's the, uh, the expert, global expert on leadership development, especially uh, Christian leadership. So he has studied and he adopted some uh, theories from leadership and he says uh, there are certain patterns and common and then he studied the development narrative development narrative of thousands of Christian leaders that he come to study leadership and I was one of them and you are supposed to write like a 10 uh, 12 page narrative of how you grow, grow up and uh, there's a what we call leadership uh, moments and those things you write it and we compare it with others and then there is a certain pattern that you find so there is certain pattern of leadership uh, mature maturity and so that's another theory okay Finally, the findings. So you can forget about the, all the explanations that I gave you, uh, and uh, just remember this. And uh, first, leadership is a process. It takes the time, and it kind of continues every day. Then there are two main things that makes the leadership. One it has to do with the people, one has to do with the work. So it's a, a matter of being who you are. So leader is who you are, and leader is what you do. So these are main things that you remember. So if you're a leader, you can look at yourself, who I am, how I am. And then you can look at yourself and say, what am I doing? What is my responsibility? And how well am I doing it? And so that's another thing. And then third thing to remember is there are many different leadership styles. So there is one good leader. No, there are many different good leaders. So leadership style. So you can be this leader. She can be that leader. And uh, many different styles. And then, to be a leader, there is an individual uh, dimension and there is a group dimension, organization. And these two aspects, you as a person, and you with other people, see, that these are two aspects or uh, things that you are looking for. Take a ten minute break and you can come back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
continue with the point class. And uh, uh, by the end of the class, I'll just uh, brief on the uh, syllabus for the ones who came a little late. So I'll go over, go over on that. Okay, let's continue. Uh, biblical leadership, what and why? Uh, this being a uh, you know a Christian uh, college, uh, you know the name is Lord Land. The Lord made the one up there. So basically, we are teaching the Christian uh, values and uh, Christian uh, thoughts. So biblical leadership. There's what we call a secular leadership. I mean, Ohio study that I mentioned, or mission study, these are the secular studies. And uh, there's a, a biblical leadership uh, ethos, or thoughts, or views. These kind of merge together, and you know, we, as a Christian, we bring some of the ideas from secular studies. I mean, not all the secular studies are against Bible. So we take those excellent uh, study lessons and cooperate with the biblical idea. So that's where the, you know, uh, Dr. Clinton, I mentioned he, what he did. Uh, there's a, something called dichotomy in, 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 in Christian circles. Uh, even though they are Christians, uh, they, they think of Christianity is uh, just a religion. And they can take the religion separate. So your Christian belief is there as a section, and other areas like uh, philosophy, ideology, values and ethics, and knowledge are separated and different from your Christian belief, Christian uh, ethos or Christian ethics, then we call that dichotomy, divided. And uh, we don't want that. So we want to incorporate everything and look them in Christian way. So in this class, the primary thing is to learn uh, biblical leadership perspective, which is not much different from leadership uh, studies lessons in America. Because America, as you know, it is founded on Christian belief. I mean, from the beginning. And it is still there. So many things, they don't think it's a Christian, but it's Christian thing. But their, their respect about human life America is a, you know, known to uh, respect the human life. And it's not a secular thing, it's a Christian thing. It's been in their roots. And then secondary, we want to some, uh, adopt some secular studies. And then to biblical discernment on it. And then incorporate that into our lessons. So biblical leadership, there's the biblical teaching. I mean, in the Bible, it's a full of teachings. Okay? And those we call biblical teachings. Those teachings affect the purpose, leadership purpose, leadership style, and the leadership qualities, and leadership functions, and so on. So we look into leadership with a biblical view, biblical eyes, biblical thoughts. That's what I'm trying to do, or what this classic is trying to do. Okay, now, general perceptions. Uh, probably these things already you know. So we'll go over this quickly. Types of leadership. Okay, there's a dictator. Uh, I'm from Korea, and we had uh, some dictators in our history. I mean, other than kings, we had uh, many kings. Uh, just like China has many kings, and England has many kings. 
uh, Korea and the many kings, because uh, we have 5,000 years of history. Uh, but in recent years, there were a couple dictators uh, who came from this church. So I know what the dictator is like. Probably you guys may know uh, from your own experience uh, what the dictator is like. And there is a hero, a Hollywood movie, there, the, the superheroes. Uh, Superman, Spider-Man, and the Avengers. These are some of the uh, leadership types. And in America, this hero leadership is very strong. That's why maybe Trump is elected. Uh, he thinks he's a hero. And he always talks him as a hero. So that hero style is very popular in America. And both uh, you know, gang, right? Uh, the gang group. There's always that boss, and he is he has a power, and he's a the, the 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 mean guy, right? And then teacher, you know the teacher, yeah. and parents, and then generals, the captain. I mean the military general, four star general. Uh, so military uh, leaders uh, who who have served in in military. Any of you guys? No. Okay. <laughs> so you, you don't know about generals uh, and the pastor. So I asked the question uh, early. Uh, who, who's who's attending church? Out of you guys? Uh, not many. Uh -huh. Just just couple. Okay. <laughs> so if if you go to church, you know what the pastor is like. Uh, and uh, okay, then names of leaders. These are just a few. I mean, there are many, many different names. The yeah. manager is a leader, and uh, director, and coordinator, supervisor, coach, a head, and foreman. And foreman is especially in the field of uh, construction. You have foreman, and he's the one who has experiences and who lead other uh, workers. So these are the, some of the names of the leaders in just a common. Uh, then biblical names. Okay, you may not be familiar with these names if you're not a Christian. But see, uh, there's an elder. Elder is the one who is old enough to be a leader. In uh, Israel, there's an elder. He has the authority to say about the things. And if you go to uh, the, the, uh, the uh, tribal society, there's an elder, the oldest one. He's the one who has the power. Usually the elder is a male. Because uh, this elder culture is a male uh, dominant culture. Then, uh, we have overseer. It is the one who sees all the church. I mean, uh, all over the church. That's why it's called overseer. So he's on the top and looking down uh, and uh, see everything. That's the overseer. And then uh, you have a pastor. Pastor actually means one who feeds the the sheep. Okay, so it's a pastor. So pastor's job is to feed the congregation with the word and with the spiritual food. Then we have apostle. Apostles means one who is sent with a mission. Sent with a mission. So if you consider yourself as a, a, a believer and if you think you have a mission in this world, then you are an apostle as well. Actually, there are 12 uh, apostles uh, in the Bible, right? And usually we don't call other people apostles, but we are apostles as well. Then deacons. Deacons are the ones who do the, all the chores in the church. And there is a teacher. Teacher is the one who teaches the word of God. And he's a, he's a teacher. So these are the biblical names, and the, most of them, uh, except the elder, uh, the other names are in the New Testament, meaning that after Jesus Christ. 
Before Jesus Christ, they probably only had the elder and the king and the, uh, the, the prophets. Now, leadership efforts, the essential thing. Okay, leadership ethos is uh, the, the main element, the core, the most important things in the leadership. So, without those, you cannot understand leadership. But we will talk about these things. Okay, now, whether you're a Christian or not, I think this is a very important uh, for you. Whether you are into leadership or not, I, I think you have to think about this. Uh, the ultimate meaning, uh, meanings, actually, meanings, meanings uh, is, is answer to why question, why. You ask for why, why do you live? Why, why do you try to survive? Why do you come to the, the States to study and live? That's one of the ultimate questions. That's about yourself your being, who you are. So there, there's a, to be ultimate meaning to your life. And uh, the, 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 the only one, the most important reason for you to be who you are. So that's the ultimate meaning. Many of us, the young people today, do not have that ulti ultimate meaning. And uh, even if they have, unfortunately, many of their meaning is money. Uh, they, they find the meanings in money, being rich, materially rich. And that, that doesn't, I mean, those are not, the, those, that can be means, means, but not meanings. So means is a tool. A tool cannot be the purpose. So the purpose of your being, who you are. Then there's a communal meaning. So your family, your government, your company, your school tries to give you certain meanings. And they, they try to identify you as a proud Korean or proud Chinese people. But this is a national meaning. It's like how they define who you are. Mm -hmm. So they try to you know, identify you as proud proud who citizen of the United States. But these things are the means. And then personal. Uh, as your person, why are you doing a certain thing? See? If you enjoy sports, you find the meaning in sports. Uh, if you enjoy doing certain other hobbies, uh, then you will find meanings in there. And you love your family dearly, then you are finding your personal meanings there. So there are three different levels of meanings. So your community, whether it's a church, or, uh, or a company, school, or country, they give you communal meanings. And you either accept it, or you reject it. And uh, personal meanings, no one gives you personal meanings. You have to find your own personal meanings. And if you cannot find these meanings, that's why people commit suicide, right? Hang yourself or eat something else to die, kill, to kill yourself, because they do not find the meaning. And uh, this is very important as a leader, as a person. Before you are a leader, you are a person, and you want to be a a good person, a better person. And these things are very important. These are the uh, reasons that validate your existence. Then, we have being and doing. Either you are finding your, yourself doing something and you are being the how do you define define you as a person? There are two things. You see certain things certain ways. So how you see these things and interpret that 
that is important. And what you have, ability, capability, gifts, talents, these things identify you. So these are important. How you see what you have. See? What you see is who you are. How you see is who you are. What you have inside you, the, there's an invisible thing. Not the money. Money doesn't count. Uh, I mean, at least for me, money doesn't count that much. But uh, it, it's a necessity. Uh, you have to have a certain amount of money to survive. But over that, uh, no, it doesn't give me. And doing. Okay, you do certain things as an individual, and you do certain things as, as a group. Uh, who, you might be working somewhere with somebody to, to make money, right? To live in America, it takes a lot of money, right? Uh, so you have to earn, even though you're students. You know, uh, either someone provides you, and then they have to work for you. So, you are working with others, and you are working and doing things as an individual. So these are the, uh, the framework. Now, the context, again, let me explain a little further. Uh, the, the, the word context is basically is a word used in the literature. Uh, by the way, I also studied uh, literature. Uh, the English uh, literature is my uh, college major. So this is not something new for me, but uh, it might be new. But the context, I mean, if you say you have a uh, story, and then there's a, there's a certain portion you take out, that's out of context. So the whole thing is context. So if you... Uh, uh, find a, 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 a story in the newspaper, usually it doesn't give you a whole context. So that's the concept of context. So in general, it says the circumstance that form the setting for an event, statement, or idea, and in terms of which it can be fully understood and answered. So that's the definition, general definition of context. So it is, it's, uh, if there is an event, there is a context that has to do with uh, that event. If it's a statement, say, I am proud. You don't just say, I am proud. You say, this, 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 and because of that, I am proud. So that uh, portion that comes before your statement, that's context. So these, these are the concept of context. So, the context comes with the word text. So text is within the context. So you have a certain text. Uh, do you text a lot? Message? You do, right? The young people these days. I mean, use two fingers to write. And uh, you text. And that text, is always with a big, bigger context. <coughs> but this word context in anthropology, anthropology is a study of a human culture. Mm -hmm. And they, they use it a little differently than in literature or in general terms. So this is how we are going to use the term context. In cultural anthropology, context, context is used to denote a bewildering variety of characters, characteristics, domains, and environments. Context could be cultural, social, political, ritual, and religious, economic, or ecological. They could be interactional, uh, systematic, or historical. So this is how we define context in anthropology. The leadership is a study of human culture. So thus, we use this definition to understand the word context. So life context. 
There's you and there's life context. Your family, your job, and your background, your education, these are all context, your context. So that's a, a term, what the context means. Okay, now, here's a leadership context. When we uh, learn and speak about a leadership, these are the things that you need to uh, think of. There's spiritual, people, and cultural, historical, and ecological. I'll try to explain. Leaders are in a culture. Leaders are with the people. Leaders are within the history. And leaders are within ecology and leaders within the spirit. And this is a spiritual context. Think of your spiritual context. See, if, if you are not a Christian, uh, you may have different uh, spiritual context than mine. Uh, so, think of this. I, I, in the introduction, I told you that you are going to build a profile of yourself. Now you begin to uh, build this profile. So you're trying to look at you and analyze you in detail and find who you are. K. What be people believe about the ultimate unseen world. See? This is a seen world. And what we see. <coughs> but there is something beyond what we can see, and people say it's a spiritual world. And then uh, there are different thoughts about the life after that. Some believe there is uh, one, some believe there is not. And even though those who are believe, Buddhists believe a different uh, life after that, Christians believe a different one. So there is a difference. And then there is uh, uh, angels, and the other spirits, people think uh, they have different ideas on this. And the good and evil. What is good? What is evil? And they think differently. And then finally, divine or secular. There is a something of God, and there is a something that is not belonging to God. That's how people see. So this is a spiritual dimension or a spiritual context. So when we think of a leader, he or she has to think of this uh, spiritual uh, context. Then, people context. There's a, like a ethics, laws, these are all the social things, social stuff. And family structure, uh, from the, the, the the, the family structure in Asia is a family different from the family structure in Europe or United States. So that there is a different context. Then there is a different social system. We know that, and there is a different authority. Then historical context. Uh, I mean. I was uh, born and raised in, in Korea until I was uh, 17. So that is my heritage, historical heritage. And I was born as a Korean. So as a Korean, we have uh, uh, 5,000 years uh, of story uh, until I got here. And China, pretty much the same, uh, 5,000 plus years of history. And uh, Europe, they have their own history. And the United States, a uh, couple hundred plus years of uh, official history. So within that history, then there's your family history. See, your family has a different roots and that, that all history and you came out. And you just did not drop from heaven. There you came within history. So this history is important as a leader. Then ecological, they say that this is important, the nature, the surroundings, and then the then, then environment, and then population, 
geography, where you live and where you're born, and the climate, these things also influence your legacy. Now, the culture. This is one of the main things that we are going to consider. Culture is simply a way of life, how you live. So uh, the, each has a different <coughs> culture. I mean, in here, all, just a well, few of us, we have a very different cultures, right? So culture is consists of these things. Uh, you, you need to remember, at least to remember these things. When we talk about culture, we are talking about these things. Politics, economy, education, and media, and even sports. These are the part of culture. So you, if you are talking about culture, we are talking about these things. Okay. So in diagram, you can understand. There is a leader, and the, he or she is surrounded by the, that, the culture. Very different dimension. And the leader, if you're a leader, probably you're one of these. You're a leader in media field, or you're a leader in a, a politics. So one of these is your major leadership area. I'm a, a leader in a religious field. Okay? So. And community, because you as a leader, you're serving a community and there's a major communities that you require leaders religious community a church synagogue or a buddhist temple wherever the, 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 the religious group there's a leader then a political community president senate and uh, all these uh, Famous people in politics, they are leaders in political communities. And then the business, that's the most common uh, group of community that requires a leader. So later on, probably you're going to be one of those leaders in a uh, business community. Uh, whether you're open a, a mom and pop shop, small shop, you are going to be boss. And then uh, CEO there, then you are a leader. And you are a leader of a big, I mean, CEO of a big company, you are a leader. So this is what it's going to be. Okay, spur of leadership. So, if you're a leader, you are influencing all these people, all these areas. So, leader, is important because your influence can change their lives. So a leader changes someone else's life. Not only he or she does things, but by doing that, they change someone else's life. Probably your life has been changed because someone in your life, and he or she is a leader. Whether they are your parents or your friends, when they change your life, he or she must be a leader. So the, this class is important because you are going to someone, uh, change someone else's life. And uh, if you are going to do, I, I want you to do it right. Okay? So you don't want to screw someone else's life. And you want to them to be good and well. So that's why this lesson and lesson are important. Okay, we have a, an assignment. Before we go to assignment, let me to come back to the first. The beginning.
this was actually the first uh, PowerPoint slide. And uh, I introduced myself, and uh, so for those who came in there late, uh, my name is Sung Su Wong, and uh, I'm a pastor in the church, and uh, I also work as a hospice chaplain, uh, visiting uh, the sick people who are dying. And then also I do teach uh, in, in uh, classes. So this is who I am. This, this is a leadership role, right? So as, as a leader myself, I try to share what I have experienced, what I have learned in my life. So you can become a better leader than myself. So that's the intention of this class. And then, uh, uh, so purpose is to mature you guys into the biblical stewardship. Or, uh, the, you can, I mean, if you're not a believer, you can just forget about the biblical. But, you know, uh, to mature is a common thing. I want you to grow and mature. And then goals, I'll skip this. There is a class requirement for those who came late. Uh, your attendance count to 50% of uh, uh, But your cl class participation, uh, there's a little exercise every class. And then I'm going to give you assignment uh, for, uh, to do at home. So these are the basic things as a student. I mean, I don't uh, ask, I'm not going to ask uh, too much, but at least that's a minimum. And, uh, then we have a little quiz and test, final test at the end, but uh, it's not going to be a big, uh, huge test, but uh, you, know, you can use your books and notes. Then assignment will be given, and then readings. Uh, there are two books that I recommend, uh, The Making of a Leader by uh, Robert Clinton, uh, it's a small book. and. Uh, even though you're not a Christian, it's worth to read. And then uh, uh, Book of Nehemiah in, in the Bible. So if you have a Bible, you can read it. And uh, it's all in the internet. So you can read, read it from uh, online. So if you come to the class, you already got 50%. And um, you can just add 10% further, and then you're going to pass the class. So it's no big deal. Okay, this exercise, okay, this, we're going to spend the rest of the uh, time for the, those who came a little late. Uh, you ha you, if you haven't done this exercise together, you're missing 1%, so I'll let you have a chance to do this. And, uh, if you are not really familiar with the English, then you can do it in your own language. Uh, if, uh, if, if, even if I may not understand, there's going to be someone who understands uh, the language. So that's okay. okay. That's why we are international, multicultural, and that's multilingual. So we speak different language, and that's fine. And uh, he will understand. Anyway. So you can introduce yourself by saying, my name is Lu and Lu, and then, I'm a leader because. So make it short, yeah, it doesn't have to be long. And uh, you know, let's go with uh, there in the pink shirt. Um, my name is Ann. Ann? Yes. Okay. <coughs> <Please remember. laughs> I, I don't think I am a leader. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. So, how about you, your family? Uh, you're doing something in your family? Anything? What do you mean doing something? I mean, you have a certain role in your family, right? Yeah. As a, as, as a son, as a child, as yeah, a child? I'm a son. Huh? I'm, a, I'm a son and I, I'm a only father. Oh, okay. So, uh, then you have your own uh, family, right? Yes. Good. Then you you are a leader. Family <laughs> 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 mm, What do you mean? Okay. <coughs> Let me explain this. Oops.
Do you agree with this? Not so good cells and other cells. Yeah, there, there are two cells. I mean, uh, some sometimes three or four. I mean, but basically two of us in me. And uh, there's uh, some a better cell, and there's not so good cell. And these two always fight. And this one says, I mean, usually in, in the cartoon, it has a uh, horns and a red red face, and it says, do this, do this. And then the other one, angel one, says, no, I cannot do that. So there's always that part. And one leads the other. If the uh, not so good one leads, and then you may even become a criminal. Uh, if the good, uh, better self, and leads you, and you mature and become a better person. In that sense, you have to be a leader in yourself. <sighs> so that's, that's how we uh, define leadership. So thank you for participating. You got your own percent. <laughs> <laughs> it might not look much, but you know, after 10 classes, you, you have at least 10 points to go. OK, sir. Yeah. Me? Okay, my, my name is Li Ren. Mm -hmm. I'm a leader because I manage the animation team mm -hmm. in company. Oh, you're yeah. Yeah. I'm an animation director. So how many uh, people under your... Around uh, 40 people. 40 mm -hmm. to 50 people. So your leadership is very important and critical, right? Yes, and lots of things need to, to do. Uh -huh. And if you fail, they go hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes I needed to, if some rush on some special project, uh -huh. if they didn't finish uh -huh. their own things, uh -huh. I needed to continue. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very tired. Yeah. Yeah, you, because don't, you don't sleep and then you have to do it. Huh? Yeah, because sometimes the, I mean, the member is not as high level, some level is totally different. Uh -huh. I needed to negotiate to different direction with the boss, with the clients. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes the boss and the client it doesn't know our uh, workflow. Uh -huh. Then they always add some mm -hmm. some stupid ideas. <laughs> then they, in their in my, their uh, image will be very simple, mm -hmm. but they change one small mm -hmm. simple idea. Mm -hmm. Then we have to change all the workflow. Right. Need mm -hmm. to. Editing, we, we, we tend to e uh, editing, mm -hmm. rendering, and uh, to do all the same work for the changing. Wow. Yeah, so uh, find a good boss and a good mm -hmm. client is very important for our industry. Wow. So you have to always work with the uh, boss or client, right? Yeah, I need to uh, teach the boss how to understand, the, totally understand our industry. Right. Then client, yeah, you know, client, the, they are rich, they, they offer the, the, the money, and they say, they always have the new idea uh -huh. in some very complicated situation. Uh -huh. In clients' companies, they have different, uh, you know, different people, different, right. they will argue each other, then uh -huh. this guy asks this direction, uh -huh. the other guy asks this uh -huh. other direction. So, and the guy is terrible situation. <laughs> wow. Yes, I understand. My son also works in the ad advertisement field. Oh. Uh -huh. so I can identify it. Thank you for the uh, share. So just me, I got one. one, one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I will give you two. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, sir. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Kiyosuke Kuroda. I'm leader because I'm a better person. A better person? Uh, yeah, I'm a okay. better person, maybe. Uh -huh. Yeah. A better person than yesterday, please. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good, good. Yeah. I mean, I'm not smart, but I'm not. Uh -huh. I think I'm smart enough to lead somebody. And people. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Even even I don't speak much mm -hmm. good English, but people try to, you know, ask me help. Mm -hmm. And I'm always try to help somebody or people with nothing. Oh. Maybe I'm good. So you're a good person. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And lady, I say. Yeah. My name is Nas. You are a leader because? No, yeah, I think the cause. <laughs> you don't know? But 
you're, you think you're a leader, right? Yeah. Okay. So you, you least lead yourself. Yeah. Uh -huh. Every day you come to school, I mean, it, it takes a lot of energy to sit two hours uh, to listen to someone in, in different language, right? I've done that when I was in high school. I, I, wait, I was high school until, until 17. And my father had to go to Africa. So I went with him. And the first school I went to is French. French. And I only studied one class of French before. So it's just a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and you don't understand. So I, I understand your frustration. And uh, I know where you're going to go. But to come to that and make that decision in the morning, get prepared, and to be here, it takes a lot of leadership. So congratulations, and thank you, and welcome. OK, last but not least, sir. No. Your name? Don't understand? You say you cannot speak uh -huh. English, so you can translate. <laughs> I, I, I know a lot of Chinese people. She decided to shine. Yeah, but not many Chinese are shy. Uh -huh. Korean people, there are many shy Korean people. But the Chinese, they are not shy. Not that shy, right? Uh -huh. But okay, that's fine. I mean, that's. See, being shy is a, also a, a good good character for leadership. <laughs> Can you translate that? <laughs> because shy people has good listening ears. So people come to you and share, tell their stories. Yeah. So you can be a leader, and you are a leader. <laughs> okay, uh, that's that's a I mean the content of the class for today. Is there any questions that you'd like to ask me? before you go home. Any questions? No? No. <laughs> uh, who, who would like to have the, the PowerPoint slide? The, this, the, the copy of the PowerPoint. I, I can you know, send you the, uh, the file, the PowerPoint file, if you'd like to. Yeah, I ask you this because I mean, uh, usually, and then in the class I did, uh, I asked the email address, mm -hmm. but because of a you know, strict uh, privacy policy in the States, you know, unless you want to give me your email address, I wouldn't ask. So uh, if you have to have that uh, PowerPoint in, uh, you know, at home, I can send you one and just give me your email address, and I'll be more than glad to share this PowerPoint. Okay. So you can just come to me and give me your uh, email address. Email. So assignment was uh, to form a, a, a group. And uh, let's see, if you guys are uh, planning to come to the next place, Class uh, the next Tuesday, then uh, probably this is um, as much as we are going to have, and we may have two groups because there are some group activities, and uh, I think a language matters. 
So uh, those who can speak some English, I want them to be in a group. And those who can only speak Chinese, because there are more Chinese people than others, and then you can make a group. So this is a suggestion, and you think about it, and come back to the next class, and you are going to form a group, probably two groups. Okay? So understand? Can, can someone translate uh, this for? Okay. So, let's see what else. <laughs> So the assignment is this. In your uh, lesson book, there is a part two on page six. And lesson two and one and lesson two, the two. So from page six to Page nine. Page six to page nine. Just go over and uh, you know, read outline and think about that and come with some thoughts. So that's only the uh, preview preparation. Just think about it, read the, uh, the topics, and come after reading. So. Uh, that's gonna help you because it's not you're not doing it for me. Just go over and uh, you know develop your own thoughts of the top, on, on the topic, and you'll be more than glad to do this. Okay. Okay, thank you. That's it for today. I made it a little short for today because uh, this is the first class. The next next uh, week on, I'll try to be. And uh, come with questions, okay? Uh, I, I like to answer your questions. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good day. Thank Thank you. You. Thank you.